What's up, everybody? You're watching The Drop. I'm Cynthia Luciette. You guys have been seeing all of our footage from our TED 2 trip to London. Now you guys actually get to see the cast interviews. Check it out. So how would you explain to Ted what a human being is actually like about? Because I know like in TED 2, he's just he's trying to figure out like what is the meaning of life? Yeah. So in one sentence, like what would you tell him it was? That's a hard question. I think it was Alan Turing who said that when you're dealing with something like, let's say like artificial intelligence, like a robot, if as a human being, from your perception, that robot has emotions and can sp speak and talk and you can interact, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter what they're made of and whether they're real or not. As far as, as, far as you are concerned, that is a real person. Yeah. So it's all really about perception. If you had to ask your best friend for a sperm so you could have a baby, how would you go about doing it? Oof. Uh... You know, first of all, I'd go, I'd go to like a Tom Brady or somebody who was a friend, <laughs> right. uh, or you know, uh, you take top tier. Yes, you know, you want to get the special breadwinners. Babies. You want to get the special babies, right? right? So your love interest in the movie is obviously Mark Wahlberg, and his best friend is like a partying teddy bear. Have you ever had to yeah. deal with any like terrible best friends from anybody you've dated? Yeah. What's the been the worst? A guy who did too much cocaine. Really. And you were like, can you not hang out with him today? Well, because they did cocaine together. Oh. So when girls are in that type of situation where it's your best friend, like, is it okay if you're in the relationship to be like, don't hang out with him? Or do you just have to deal with it? It depends, you know? It's like, ugh, you can't really ask that of your partner. Like, you can't tell them who to hang out with. But, man, it was really annoying. Like, because <laughs> I knew every time that they would hang out, that yeah. they were going to party. And I'm not really into that. Yeah. I don't even like the idea of... of of my other half going out till five in the morning. Mm -hmm. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. I mean, you, you're under the influence and you make stupid decisions and I think it's so unattractive. So then a teddy bear seems very easy to deal with then. Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if your childhood toy came to life, what do you think the first words would be that it would say to you? Um, Jesus, you guys fucking live here? <laughs> if you could bring any of your childhood toys to life, which one would you bring oh, to life? Oh, none of them. None? God, that's terrifying. Really? To life? Then well, you have I have no control. I would bring this little doll Shannon to life because I cut her bangs off and I thought of her grew back, so I would apologize. Like, I'm oh, that's sorry. nice. But yeah. then she's alive. Then what would you do? What if she hated you? I'm like, what if she made your life miserable? That's true. Like, what if she started haunting me? Like, you cut my hair. Yeah, yeah I didn't think about that. In Entourage, you had exclusive J's for that team. Any hope of Ted two having exclusive Jordans? Yes, I've been talking to Reggie and Tinker, and I gotta call Michael directly. Because we want them out sooner rather than later. And I want them just like the Oregon Fives. Really? You know, but with Ted on the back instead of the duck. Oh, those are awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm all gooey over it now. So you're really good at doing voices. So I wonder if I could have you do a couple impressions of like some of my favorite cartoons and just wow. see how good I'll, you are. I'll at do it. my best. Okay. SpongeBob. God. Oh, man. I, I've never seen an episode of SpongeBob. You've never, I isn't love it like it. a hey, 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 hey? Isn't it that kind of That's thing? That's pretty good. That was pretty good. That's all. I don't, I don't know anything about SpongeBob. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm cartoon. a little older than you are. Okay. Bugs Bunny. Uh, yeah, yeah, what's up, Dad? There you go. That's there you scary. go. There you That's go. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thanks to Universal for sending Jay and I to London. It was such a fun time. Make sure you guys check out TED 2. It's hilarious. If you love the first one, you're going to absolutely love the second one. Check it out. It's in theaters today, June 26th. And answer this question. What was your favorite childhood toy? And if it came to life, what do you think it would say to you? Leave some comments below. Make sure you guys subscribe to All Dev Digital. Share this video with your friends. I'm Cynthia Luciette. We'll see you Monday on The Drop.